Welcome to another video. We're back. We're trying to build a budget deck, the best budget deck for the festival. Now, I know there's some UR cards in here, but all the UR cards I'm playing are cards that you can obtain from the bundles in the store or through the missions. So if you haven't done the store missions or bought the bundles, that's the best way to get these cards. Got Ash Blossom here. So what we're going to be using is Danger Nessie, Ash Blossom, and a Tenny Spirit to make one of our boss monsters in the extra deck, Black Luster Soldier, Soldier Chaos. If you summon him using a level seven or higher monster, he cannot be targeted by card effects and he cannot be destroyed by card effects. BLS is a beast. Gonna hit our opponent, teach him a lesson not to mess with the BLS. Now BLS is a UR, but he's pretty great in this festival and you can slot him into any deck. So I think he's a pretty versatile card. I'm gonna be trying him out on the competitive ladder in Mermails, but for now, he's in the Limit 1 Festival. Also, playing the Zodiac engine. Now, Zodiacs are a bunch of N and R rarity cards, and one single UR, Dryden. So, if you have Dryden already, or if you have one UR to spare, you can craft a Dryden, and that's gonna be an epic boss monster for you. Once per turn, pop a face-up card on the field. Dryden and BLS. Super amazing team. Rest of the deck filled with Kaijus to control the board and get your opponent out of here. All right, let's go on to the next game. Got another game with the best budget deck for the festival. We got Budget Raigeki, Budget Monster Reborn. Our opponent's playing Sword Soul, Tenyi. Or at least Tenyi so far. Making some Synchro Monsters here. Now Ash Blossom can negate the summon, or negate the search effect. This Denglong is going to search for the trap that will provide them a negate. They set a card here, probably something else, could be an Imperm. Opponent using the it hard to pull another Tenny out of the deck. Now we haven't seen Sword Soul, so maybe this is just a Tenny deck. Let's Monster Reborn. We're stealing, so the reason we're doing this is because we want to use our Regeki here. But if we Regeki while this Monk of the Tenny is on field, this Tenny Spirit Chathana was going to activate in the graveyard and resummon his Monk of Tenny, which we do not want. So that's why we're using Monster Reborn to steal this Tenny Spirit. We can make use of this as well. Pop in his monsters. The Denglong is going to activate, and it's going to special summon. A Yang Zing from the deck. Let's activate our Danger Nessie. Get him onto the field. Draw a card. And we're linking off. The reason we're doing this is because we want to use the effect of our Ashuna. Ashuna needs a normal monster to be on the field to activate the effect. But opponent, they they drew it. They were searching, but they drew the nine pillars of the Yang Zing and they set it on the field. We got got. Let's get attacking here. Opponent gonna summon another worm monster from the deck, but we're clearing his board out. We still got our start destroying kaiju. Let's see if opponent has any more tricks up their sleeve. Draw our own Tenny Spirit Shathana, and now we can make the bad boy BLS. BLS has three modes. If he destroys a monster by battle, you can make him gain attack, give him a second attack, or banish a card on the field. And I think the best mode for BLS is to give him a boosted attack, because the easiest way to kill him is to attack over him. But 40,500 attack points? That's hard to get. There are a lot of monsters with 3,000, but 4,500? Unstoppable. Opponent doing danger things. Opponent discarding cards. Summoning monsters, drawing cards. Now he's gonna summon here a pretty ultimate boss monster, Thunder Dragon Colossus, but Thunder Dragon Colossus ain't got nothing on BLS. Now he's immune to destruction by battle because he can destroy cards in, or banish cards in the graveyard to protect himself, but BLS can banish. So we're banishing that Thunder Dragon and opponent is done. Opponent cannot handle it. All right, let's go on to the next game, show you that this deck is pretty sweet for the festival. 
there's a good reason to go back in. Konami, the reason is Konami added more gems. So you can go back in, get more wins, get more free gems. Use it to buy, hold on, save your gems. Uh, you gotta save them. We got some pretty busted archetypes coming up. You're gonna want lots of gems in order to buy that. So save them up. We'll talk about that in a future video. All right, opponent is playing Sword Soul. We got Sword Soul. The typical Sword Soul combo with Mo Yi. Gonna special summon an end with Baron de Fleur and a Sword Soul Grandmaster. That's got Monster Negate, Omni Negate, Set Back Row card. Let's see what we can do to stop this. And I think you know it's Kaiju time. Give him the sticky string. And we're gonna activate this Fire Formation Tenki to search our deck for a Zodiac monster, but opponent got their own Ash Blossom. Gonna negate our Prismatic Tenki. Now see, if you don't have a Prismatic Tenki, you can still play this deck. You don't need Prismatic or regular Tenki to play it. You can sub in just a generic trap here, just a way to search our Zodiacs. I'm gonna make the Dryden here. Dryden gonna pop. Now we know that the Sword Soul is gonna negate this. We anticipated this. So what we're gonna do is summon one of the R Rarity Zodiacs on top of this bad boy. Just kidding. It's BLS. You knew it. You knew it. BLS is the ultimate boss monster in this deck. He pops. He banishes. He increases his attack points. BLS is a beast. If anything, I think this video should convince you to, to craft the BLS card. He is so good. Opponent's just throwing his kaijus away. Now, I know the real reason he's doing this. It's so he can summon his Tenyi Spirits. Tenyi Spirits, if he has an effect monster, can't summon themselves from the hand. Gonna make his Monk of the Tenyi. We're gonna activate, pop the Monk. That'll turn off all of his Tenyi Spirit effects in the graveyard. Opponent's gonna use Heavenly Dragon Circle to save his Tenyi by transforming it into a Sword Soul. Oh no. If he makes Baxia here, we're doomed. Baxia non-targeting, I believe. We'll remove our monster from the field, but it was negated. The effect to summon it on the field also negated its effects. BLS won us the game. All right, that was pretty sick. I think you should go and craft BLS right now. Put him in your deck. Now let's show you the full budget deck list. All right, here you go. This is the ultimate budget deck list. There are zero main deck URs other than the ones that you get from the bonus packs or by playing the story mode missions. All of these are R and N rarity cards, so I'll just go through them quickly. We got Ash Blossom, Danger Jackalope, Mythic Tree Dragon, just a card that we can use to ex do extension plays. Now, there's a bit of a sub-theme here. Obviously, our goal is to get a high-level monster so we can make BLS with our uh, three monsters on the field. But there's some other strategies, too. Obviously, we got the whole Zodiac package which is entirely our cards, except for the Zodiac Dryden. So if you don't have this engine, I would recommend crafting it. It's a fun engine to put in any deck. Just throw in the random Zodiac monsters and throw in a Dryden. Uh, we also got a Malevolent Sin, just a good generic rank four XZ monster. We got a Baguska. You don't need Baguska for this deck to work. I never summoned him once. So you could cut this and it would make no difference. We also got the Dragulon. There's a lot of level eight monsters in this deck, so you can do a level eight XD summon, make the Dragulon or the Draglubion, and uh, special summon. If you make Draglubion, of course, you can special summon the Dragulon uh, using his effect. Uh, we also got Heart Hearth Dragon. Now this is just here to be used as a material with our Draglubion. We also got Zeus. A lot of people have Zeus already. If you got Zeus, throw him in the deck. He's great. You got XZ monsters. If you can attack, you can make Zeus. And he'll scare your opponents. So that alone is worth it. We got the Tenyi Spirit. We got our boss monster, Black Luster Soldier. And we got Berserker, the Tenyi. Uh, we got Accessco Talker as well, but uh, you don't need Accessco Talker. And I never made him, so you can take him out of the deck and it wouldn't make a huge difference. So there you go. This is the budget deck for the festival. I hope you have fun. Try it out. It's only going to be up for another few days. So have fun while it's on. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.